Welcome to North of the Broad. I'm your host, Robin Zimmerman. We bring you our show from this fantastic Pat Conroy Literary Center. We've got a great show lined up for you, so stay tuned. Welcome to North of the Broad. I'm your host, Robin Zimmerman. We're bringing you our show from this fantastic Pat Conroy Literary Center and a new face here, the new Communication and Events Coordinator, Imelda Golden. It's so good to have Thank you Thank you so much for having me, Robin. I'm so excited to be here. So you are, you've been here about three weeks or so. Yes, ma'am. Let's talk about your background. So, um, People at home, they might not know, we met this past summer. Yes, I was an intern over at WHHI <laughs> TV yes. this summer, and it was an amazing learning experience. Yes. Needless to say, this internship really did open up some opportunities with the new skill set that I had. <laughs> right. And here I am, living the dream at the Pat Connery Literary Center. And so you're in charge of all communication uh, and all coordination of the numerous events <laughs> that the Literary Center hosts. I like to think of it as I came here to serve and I am where I'm needed when I'm needed and I will do what is needed. <laughs> but the title is nice. Oh, that's great. And you're working about 20 hours a, a week. Yes, so Jonathan Haupt is very, I'm sure, very happy to have you. I'm very happy to be here. I'm still wanting to pinch myself, making sure this is real. <laughs> now, Pat Conroy, did you know much about the background of Pat Conroy? and? All the books that he wrote, and he read all of that, and it's it's really funny because we live in Beaufort, South yes. Carolina. You can't be here without being touched right. by Pat Conroy in one way or the other. Yes. Uh, the Prince of Tides and the Great mm -hmm. Santini were filmed here, and I would have never in a million years thought that I could in any way be able to help yes. spread that legacy. Dream come true. It really is. It <laughs> truly is. Now he passed on March the fourth of twenty sixteen, and so there is an event that is in its fourth year that kind of celebrates his life and his legacy. And it is called March 4th, A Day of Learning at the Penn Center. And that's really what we're going to specifically talk about now, Imelda. So it's actually going to be on March the 1st in 2020. But let's talk about what, what happens at that event and, and the kind of the purpose. So our fourth annual March 4th, which will be on March 1st, which is a tongue twister, <laughs> needless to say, is to celebrate the life of Pat Conroy and the mm -hmm. legacy he left behind. And it's something that we all talk about here at the center and Cassandra King Conroy, his widow, mm -hmm. actually let us know. She was like, leave it a Pat to pass away on the one day in the English language that is also a full sentence, <laughs> March 4th. And it's not only just a sentence, but it's a command. So we take that as this last instruction to us to march forth in the face of tragedy and to continue that legacy of learning, of lifelong teaching, reading, and nature appreciation and social justice, all of these things which he was fairly passionate about. So the event is at Penn Center and there's going to be various presenters. And I think I would like you to kind of go through each presenter because they're very, um, very famous in many ways. Yes, yes. ma'am. So we, like you said, we do have an amazing panel of guests that will be coming in. Our first person will be J. Drew Lanham, who is a master naturalist, poet, and memorialist. Mm -hmm. He has a PhD in forest resources from Clemson University. He will be leading us in our nature walk as we go to okay. explore the beautiful nature of the low country that Pat so fell in love with. We'll also be having our own Rebecca Dwight Bruff, mm -hmm. who also serves as a volunteer here at the Conroy yes. Center and is author of the Trouble the Water novelization of Robert Smalls. Mm -hmm. So we know him as the historic figure, but this novel takes on a bit of a fictional twist so we can get an idea of what he was like as a man. Yes. We will also have Donald Sweeper. He is a historical interpreter, a Beaufort native, and he'll be coming back. You will not meet Donald Sweeper this day. You will meet Robert Smalls as he will embody the character. Oh, and what, he actually becomes the He becomes well, an the actor. person. Wow. So what better way to learn about yes. history than talking to the I people agree. that were there? I agree. It's so it's going to be a rare treat for yes. us. We will also have Victoria Smalls, who mm -hmm. serves as the Penn Center Director yes. of History, Art, and Culture, and yes. is quite a celebrity here in Very, Beaufort County, yes. the state of South Carolina. Mm -hmm. She is trying to further the Gullah Geechee community and not leave it as a memory, but a living thing right. for future generations. Yes, she does an outstanding job of educating people about the Gullah 
she really um, does folks and traditions yes. and of course we can't talk about this event without talking about the honorable judge richard gurgle he is the author of unexampled courage the blinding of sergeant isaac woodward and the awakening of Prince President Harry S. Truman and Judge C. Wadey's where he proceeded over the, the very famous and tragic case uh, of the Roof case when mm -hmm. tragedy mm -hmm. happened over at the Charleston yes. uh, Church. So we will have m many things covering the nature, the literature, as well as the arts and social justice. And uh, Imelda, what is the Before I Die project so exhibit? The, that is a really neat treat that we're going to have, and it's going to be unique to this year. It is branded by artist Zippy Radinsky. Mm -hmm. It is an international movement that's sweeping the world. It's a wall mural that is put up, wow. and it says, before I die, and it's left blank. So people can come in, and they will write down oh, their yes. inspirations. Yes. I was on the website, and it said, each wall is a tribute to living and examine life. So what better way than to honor Pat Conroy? and celebrate his life by getting to tell the stories of others and what they want to accomplish. So uh, as we march forth, <laughs> <laughs> let's talk about again the tickets for the March 1st event and where you can buy those, how much they cost, and the website and all of that sort of thing. So thankfully to that wonderful, generous gift that we got from Aaron and Matt Delvin, we're yes. able to offer all of this amazing programming at a very affordable price, mm -hmm. which is $22. Uh, people can purchase tickets over at the Brown Tickets, Brown Paper Tickets website. You just have to search for fourth annual March 4th and okay. we'll pop up. It's $22 for the all day admission from 9.30 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. with amazing presenters. There's also an optional $18 for a box lunch catered by our own fabulous Debbie Cummington. <laughs> so <laughs> while you're learning about the low country, get a taste of the low country. <laughs> that sounds great. Thank you, Imelda Golden, the new communication and events coordinator with the Pat Conroy Literary Center. Thank you, Imelda. Thank and you welcome. so much, Robin. Yes. <laughs> and we'll be right back. <laughs>